lay it down for you. Do you think Jesus Christ, and I don't need answers, I'm just going to lay it down for you. Do you really think Jesus came because people were going to be drug addicts or people swore or people cheated on their wives or because, you know, people weren't, weren't, weren't good or because people committed sins and they lied or they stole candy at the store? Do you think that's why Jesus came? Did you not know that Jesus, when he was in the forest for 40 days and 40 nights, Satan accosted him and offered him the four kingdoms of the world and all he had to do was to bow down and he would have gotten the world. And did you not hear Jesus Christ say that I don't want the world, everything that you have, everything is written. You can't offer Christ nothing, get behind me. And do you think that that's the last time Satan in roaming this planet has offered those powers to anybody in this world? Do you not realize that there are people in very high places in this world that have sold their souls and that are now uh, living abundant lives because they accepted the deal that Jesus turned down? Are you not aware of the fact that what's going on in this world is way darker and way more evil than you could ever understand? Do you really think that Jesus Christ had to come here for foolishness and some silliness and this is just some kind of a cookies and ice cream thing we're involved in? Do you not realize that this is life or death for humanity's soul? Do you not understand that God came here in the flesh to save us? from ourselves because we have been so deceived and we have been so convoluted we have been so broken by what satan has done to humanity here in this dimension that christ had no choice but to die in that cross fight satan for the keys so that we could find some salvation to make our way home do you really think that christianity is just some kind of a name tag that you wear that it's some kind of a good little thing that makes you feel like you're a good person or that it's some kind of a thing that makes you feel like you're out helping the world and that you're able to go and do some some some, some free work for people and maybe go hand out some pamphlets or go to the church and put on a banquet do you really think that christianity Christianity is some kind of a religion or do you think that Christianity might be a relationship with God do you think that God wants a relationship with you because if you don't have one with him then your relationship is with Satan who actually runs this world do you think Satan isn't real do you think that there are people in this world that don't get their orders directly from Satan do you not think that that pyramid on the American dollar bill isn't a representation of what's really happening in this world do you think that that eye is just a joke on the American dollar bill do you not know that that eye is the all-seeing eye of Satan over this world that it is his planet he has dominion over this planet that he is running things do you really think that god couldn't come here to stop that do you really think that you're smarter than god and that you've got all the answers that you have more of an understanding as to what is going on here in this world do you really think that christianity is a soft touch way of living this life that you can be some kind of a little do-gooder and be a christian and everybody likes you if you're liked as a christian then you're not following christ if you've got atheists patting you on your bum and telling you how wonderful you are, you don't get it, bro. If you think that this thing that we're in here is just some kind of a joke and that Christianity is just another way of having a name tag, that you can be a good person and Jesus Christ is going to save you, and that when you die, you're not going to hell if you don't have him as your lawyer when you stand before the Father. If you think that you're going to stand up here and convince people that this world is anything short of the most evil evil nastiest thing that you could ever imagine being in and that without jesus christ you are in a world of trouble if you're not telling people that bro then you don't understand the world you're in if you think that we have no sense of what's really going on in this world and that christians are just stupid then you're the stupid one bro there are christians that are awake they're elected they're awake they know exactly what's going on behind the scenes they know exactly what satan's been up to they know exactly the corruption that's going on in the government they know exactly the corruption that's going on in the church they know exactly what's going on in the education system the medical system they know exactly what's going on in war christians are awake bro you're not awake if you have no clue of what's really going on you're not a real christian Real Christians are woken up, bro. Real Christians know this stuff. Real Christians know that there is a satanic takeover in this world, and real Christians are fighting against it. This isn't a joke, bro. This is a war. This is a serious war. It's a spiritual war. Everything that we do is being written into history. For the first time in history, God is going to end anybody from ever rebelling against him again. You are a part of that story, bro. You are a pencil in his hand. And you want to sit there and hold the pencil and act like you're writing the story? You want to sit down and act like your education means something to God? You are a joke to God when it comes to intelligence, education, knowing, and wisdom. God is all that. You are nothing. I'm nothing. 
we are here pencils in God's hand as he writes out this story preventing a rebellion to ever happen in the gates of heaven again and you're sitting down here taking it like a joke and patting atheists on the bum and trying to act like you're going to be everybody's buddy when you get left out of the gates and I'm letting you know that this world is not what you think it is you need to get behind some serious education to figure out where it is that you live because where you live is not where you think you do and the education that you think you have ain't going to be worth in heaven 